Hello Libra and welcome to your May 2022 tarot forecast. We have a lot going on in May with the eclipses, Mercury going retrograde. I did a collective reading for that. I will attach it to the end of this video for you to check that out. And also just a quick announcement, Libra. I am on TikTok now and I am posting multiple times a day uh, readings, spiritual stuff, as well as more personal stuff about me. I will leave a link below um, for a recent video that I posted if you are interested. All right, Libra, let's see. What is May bringing to you guys? Show me Libra. Okay, so we have the fifth house with creativity. Ooh, so there is something igniting inside of you, Libra. And now we have the fourth house with roots. So your fourth and fifth house are being highlighted for the month of May. Family, home, friends, romance, creativity, passion, desire, things coming center stage. Um, some of you could be having a really big move, actually a change in living situation for the positive with the pairing of these two cards. Some of you, you are going to bring an idea into reality, into manifestation, all right? But overall, Libra, you are center stage. You are in the spotlight somehow, some way in the month of May. So let's pull some more cards. I feel some stability returning to you as well. Oh yeah, look at that. As I said, that spirit of place. Nice. Libra, you are back in the game in May. If you've been kind of low energy, low motivation, feeling a little bit sad, feeling a little bit down, a little bit lost, anything along those lines, May, you are coming back strong. That first eclipse on April 30th is awakening you, okay? And then the second eclipse that's coming May 15th, 16th, is going to allow you to like transform beyond any sort of energies that have been like holding you down, um, making you tired, making you feel a lack of motivation, making you feel low about yourself. Just it doesn't feel like super heavy and significant, but you don't feel like you've been at a hundred percent capacity. And so May, it's like you are awakening, you are coming back to life, you're back in the game, and there's something big happening where you feel in the spotlight. It's time to celebrate. So let's pull some more cards. Chariot, success that comes from dedication and self-discipline, celebrating your accomplishments, being in the spotlight. Look at that, Libra. Mm -hmm. Success is coming to you. Ace of Winter, nice. This would be the Ace of Swords. Don't be deterred by challenges along the way. It's important to communicate clearly and accurately amazing new ideas that should be implemented. And we picked up on that as well. Any idea that's coming to you, any intuitive prompting that you feel very important that you act upon it, Libra. Nice. Now you got the six of summer. Children or uh, children or childhood, the return of people or romances from your past, remembering events differently in a better or worse light than how they actually occurred. Okay, so the six of summer would be the six of cups, and so for some of you, 
this is going to be a relationship that's returning from the past and now it's time for a manifestation some of you this is an idea dream or goal from the past and now you're going to actually be giving it life okay so relationship coming in or um, this idea of the past and now we have awakening which would be the hanged man change the way you're looking at the situation embrace your uniqueness a temporary pause in action now with this coming out this is that energy of fight feeling like a little bit down listless lack of motivation um, lack of direction lack of purpose okay you're coming out of that that's what's represented here with this hanged man you've kind of been in a holding pattern for a minute Libra and you haven't been able to move forward okay well now as you enter May in conjunction with these eclipses along with mercury retrograde because we do have the six of cups mercury retrograde is bringing back something from the past to where you were blocked there was no growth there was no progression forward the timing wasn't right but now it's coming back in to your life either through an idea an inspired action an opportunity with this ace of swords or there is an actual person returning into your life for a relationship of sorts this could be a business relationship this could be a romantic relationship this could be a friendship all right Libra so some of you this um, idea goal ambition of the past it just couldn't go anywhere it's now returning and others of you some sort of connection or relationship that couldn't really go anywhere or something happened but now with these eclipses and this mercury retrograde it's like the timing is finally right all things have been learned all things are now understood you are ready anybody else involved is ready so let's pull more cards <clears throat> Ten of Swords, Four of Cups, Eight of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Knight of Cups. Six of Wands. Look at that. Yes. See, you are going to be in the spotlight. Center stage. You've got that times three. That same message now. And the High Priestess. <clears throat> All right, Libra. So here's this energy that we're picking up on as you start the month of May, where <clears throat> you're kind of over it through the Four <clears throat> of Cups. The Ten of Swords, you know, some of you could have just felt like you kind of hit rock bottom or um, March and April were just tough months or, you know, your relationships are strained, somebody really hurt you, something happened. It's just this energy here is not the greatest. It's not very fun, but you're coming out of that Libra, which is so good. And we see that here through the Eight of Wands, okay? And if you haven't been feeling this way, this is talking about this idea, goal, ambition of the past that couldn't happen, the way you felt about it, or this relationship that is returning, whether friend, business, romance, okay? Where it's just you're kind of over it. it, it ended badly, it didn't feel good. And this idea or this person at this time, you don't see it as viable, okay? As you listen to this reading, you just, you don't see it as viable but we got to come all the way down here to the end with the high priestess which is libra there's a lot behind the scenes that you just don't see right at this moment okay but also really really follow through on any sort of intuitive prompting action because it's leading you to exactly where you need to be right so you didn't see this person or this 
idea whatever as a viable option in the past because of this energy here however because of the eclipses and that mercury retrograde you come into the eight of wands energy and once uh what once didn't seem viable now you have a lot of idea a lot of spark there's movement okay if it's a relationship here it is the knight of cups um hey libra i want to put you front and center I want you to be my only one, or I'm sorry, or let's meet in the middle. This is what I'm willing to bring to the table. You know, the relationship that returns is different for all of you, but this person, whether it's business, friendship, or romance, they want to dote on you, so to speak, okay? They want you to feel special. They want you to know that you are very important, all right? Those of you where this is like an idea, a dream, or opportunity missed in the past, now coming back in, in the present, it's like here it is, and the timing's right, and you're going to have major success. And part of this um, coming in or manifesting is going to come through your intuition, like something that you should do or something that you should try. So, Libra... May is a fantastic month for you. You are going to be in the spotlight. You are going to have success, whether it's finally through a goal completion, a manifestation, or a relationship. Either way, you feel doted on. You feel noticed, and you feel passionate again. You feel creative again. You feel the energy pulsating through you, and what you once viewed as not viable your whole mind has changed about it, okay? And you're happy and you're enjoying yourself. And as you end May going into June, you're feeling on top of things. And remember, spotlight, spotlight, spotlight. You got that message times three. So let's pull some cards to look at the outcome here. And the, the return of whatever this is, that's what really pulls you out of that just kind of ho-hum, listless energy if you've been experiencing that. Hierophant. Ten of Cups. Six of Swords. So you got that Six of Swords twice. That means a lot of relief to the mental body, Libra. Worries kind of rolling off your shoulders. Now with the Hierophant, you got the Hierophant and the High Priestess out. So really listen to your soul, Libra, over opinions, advice, thoughts of other people. Really listen to what your soul is telling you. It's leading you in the right direction. It's leading you to happiness, to emotional fulfillment, to calmness in the mental body where we're not full of anxiety, we're not overthinking, we're not overanalyzing, we're not worrying about anything. We feel sound, we feel stable. The fourth house energy, the environment of self, that could be represented as home. The environment of self where you're finally feeling rooted and stable and happy spirit of place the past no longer matters because what's happening now in the present is good fulfilling exciting and it's like bringing you back to life after the cold hard winter all right libra so may is a fantastic month for you you are going to be recognized and put up in the spotlight somehow some way different for all of you but that message came through times three so that is the strongest message here all right so i am sending you guys lots of love and light take care